Welcome to how to increase your desire. Now this video is meant for women, but men, I want you to watch it too. So that way you can help support the women in your life, what they need and what they want to really increase that desire. First, I'm gonna run my showreel, but stay to the end so you can see two different ways that your desire can be increased. Okay, so let's just lay it out. Everybody has a different sex drive, everybody. And it's all normal, unless you're experiencing pain, whatever you, your drive is, whatever your desire to have or not have intercourse is, is normal. And I gotta be a little careful with the words I'm using so YouTube doesn't ban me. So stick with me, I'm gonna kinda talk around the subject a tiny bit. But here's the thing, number one, hormones. Women, you know that your hormones play a big role in your desire. It changes after kids. It changes in different times of the month. It changes, there's a boat pulling up next to me. That's fantastic. Changes in different times of the month. It also changes in different life cycles, right? Different relationship cycles. So for example, your hormones are more naturally apt to flow when you first meet somebody in the first couple of years than after you've been with them for a while. It's part of nature's process. So here's tip number one, go to a professional who will test you and give you bio-identical hormones if that's what you need, right? So when you're balancing the body hormonally, don't just go to any GP or any OBGYN, right? Not to say they're bad, but if you go to someone that can give you bioidentical hormones, they're more likely to actually work with your body in a way because not one hormone's the same, right? You can't just take estrogen or just take testosterone and expect that nothing else, no other hormone in your body is gonna change because everything is interrelated. So make sure you find somebody that really specializes in drive that really specializes in what hormones might be good for you and why, and really wants to listen, wait it out, and pay attention to you and your needs. Number two, the mind. So the body's part of your drive, so is your mind. So what does that mean? Well, in Emily's book, um, Come As You Are, Emily Nakasaki, I can't remember how to say her name. Emily, just look, just search Come As You Are, Google it. She talks a lot about the two functions of sex drive in your brain. Number one is the accelerator, what turns you on. Number two is the brake, what turns you off. Some people have high accelerators and a lot turns them on. Some people, not very much turns them on. Same thing with the brakes. Some people have very, very touchy, touchy brakes and some people's brakes are way off. So one thing you can start doing is paying attention to where are you? in your mind. What is good for you? What do you need? What do you desire? What are your brakes versus what's your accelerator? And remember, it is all normal, no matter what combination you have. But pay attention to that and start asking for what it is that you want and what you need. The next level of the mind is also going to be healing past traumas, betrayals. I mean, that literally means the argument with your husband last week or the time in high school when you were shamed for your body, or the time when you were seven and your religious or society put a belief in you that women are X if they have sex, they're whores, they're sluts. They, they, don't, they can't have a sex drive because that is unnatural, right? Some of those societal and religious trainings can really also impact our desire as women. So my tip for you is look at what else is underneath. What is pushing those brakes that's unconscious, that's societal training, and work with a professional to heal that as well. Journal it out. Do some breath work. Do some meditation. Talk to your partner. See an emotional freedom technique techniques practitioner, tapping, that's one of the things that I do. A counselor, a sex therapist, right? Not just about how do I fix myself. This isn't about fixing yourself. You are perfect the way you are. What it is about is understanding what you want and need, what your body wants and needs, and optimizing all of yourself, your mind, your body, your hormones, and your partner to have the sex life that you want and you deserve. 
So type in the comments down below. I would love to hear your biggest aha from this video. I've got more videos coming on and getting more and more specific on how to have more intimacy and better, and better sex in all areas of your life. I'm Dawn Bennett and just remember no matter what, you are love, you are loving, and you are lovable. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.